Hi students, my name is Nikhil Jangit, and today we are going to do few corrections in your 10th standard algebra notes of Mahesh tutorials. So let us begin with the corrections. I'm showing you the correction PDF on your screen. You can even pause the video and do the corrections on your own pace. Now students, I would request all of you to be ready with your algebra notes and one pencil. So let us start with the correction. So the very first correction is in your chapter number one, linear equation in the two variables. In your notes on page number seven, practice at number 1.2, question number five, the right side of the solution, third line, you will find an equation as y equals to 5 upon 2 into 4. That is equals to minus 2.5. You have to correct it as y equals to 5 upon 2 as it is into instead of 4, it should be minus 1. I'll repeat. Instead of 4, it should be minus 1 then the answer will be minus 2.5. All right. Now, we'll go with the next correction on page number 18. Problem set, question number three, second question. Second last step. Y equals to three into four minus four by two is printed. And the answer for that step is minus, sorry, not minus, it is only four. So you have to rectify it as y is equals to 3 into 4 plus 4 upon 2. I'll repeat, instead of the minus sign in between, it should be a plus sign is 4 by 2. Then the answer which you will get is, is equals to 8, not 4. All right. Page number 19, problem set, question number 3. In that particular table, which is printed in that table. The last column is minus 12 comma minus five. That is the last coordinate point of X and Y. Instead of minus 12 and minus five, it should be minus three comma 2.5. So kindly rectify those coordinates in the table minus three comma 2.5. Page number 19, problem set question number three, graph scale is printed as one centimeter is equals to one unit on both the axes, which should be one centimeter is equals to two units on both the axes. Instead of one unit, it should be two units on both the axes. So these are the corrections of your chapter number one, linear equation in two variables. Now we will proceed with chapter number two, quadratic equations. Page number 49, practice set number 2.5. Question number seven, sub question number two. There are few steps missing. It should be A is equals to K. K should not be equals to zero as A should not be equal to zero. That should be printed over there. Therefore, the K value should be equals to six. Page number 49, practice at 2.6, question number one, solution part in that second and third step. The bracket should be X minus two years and x plus three years. So those word years are not printed in the notes. So kindly make the correction. Page number 55, question number six, sub question number three. In the solution, the final answer should be, as delta is greater than zero, the roots are real and unequal. That is printed, but it should be actually, as delta is equals to zero, the roots are real and equal, not unequal. You should correct it as real and equal. 
on page number 59 additional mcqs question number 9 a plus b is given in the bracket instead of a and b it should be the sign of alpha and beta i'll repeat instead of a and b in that question it should be the sign of alpha and beta following the next correction page number 60 additional mcq question number 11 a into b is minus 1 and a plus b is minus 4 again a and b should be replaced with alpha and beta so you will get alpha into beta is equals to minus 1 and alpha plus beta is minus 4 page number 60 additional mcqs question number 12 in the answer it is given both a and b where is it it should be the option number d both a and b okay the option number b is incorrect it should be option number d which is both a and b page number 60 additional mcqs question number 13 in the answer c option is 7 upon m is equals to 7m plus 8 which should be 5 upon x minus 4 is equals to x square page number 62 answer number 3 fifth box now i am talking about the answers of the question which are given at the back of the chapter all right so that is on page number 62 fifth box the activity boxes are given in that count from the left to the right you will see the fifth box that fifth box is printed as x square plus 2x is equals to 0 whereas it should be x square plus 2x Plus zero is equals to zero. The last term C constant term is not printed, so print it as plus zero. If the constant term is not given, you have to take it as zero. Fine. Now, in the answer of question number six, sixth and eighth box is given. There it is printed as x plus root three. Well. And x minus root three. The minus sign is inside the root sign, so place it outside the root sign. That is minus of root three. Okay. Page number sixty-three. Answer number one should be two two four six is printed, whereas it should be two three four six. Page number sixty-three. Question number three. Second question. Answer is printed nine up in. 9.3 whereas it should be 9 comma minus 3 page number 63 question number 3 answer fifth answer is minus 1 comma 285 comma 0 where it should be 0 comma minus 9 upon 7 page number 63 question number 8 question and answer both A and B is given, which should be replaced with alpha and beta. On page number sixty-three, question number nine and ten are given for self-study, so that should be written over there. That these questions are in self-study. Followed by the third chapter, arithmetic progression. We will look at the corrections of the chapter number three. That is arithmetic progression. The first correction. is on page number 66 practice set 3.1 question number 1 1 to 8 all the questions in all those questions number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 there is a statement printed here the first term is a that particular statement is not required so kindly cancel that particular statement in the solutions of question 1 to 8 page number 80 question number 12 solution in that solution go on the 14th line where it is written multiplying both sides by 2 that should not be printed okay so these are the corrections of the chapter arithmetic progression chapter 3 is followed by chapter number 5 probability there are no corrections in the chapter probability so that's all with the slide of corrections so kindly do the correction in your notes and all the best for the exams thank you so much bye bye